Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another action figure review, and today we'll be taking a look at the NECA Godzilla 2019. Now, of course, this version of Godzilla comes from the most recent edition in the line of Godzilla movies, Godzilla King of the Monsters, which I've actually reviewed this movie on my channel, so if you want, you can go ahead and find it and watch that if you want, but if you want to know my thoughts briefly, I liked it. I thought the movie was very good. Um, as of me recording this, it's still in theaters, but... Yeah, no, I still think that Godzilla King of the Monsters is a very good movie, so, yeah. Anyway, yeah, um, this figure, it's not bad, but it's definitely disappointing. When this figure was revealed at Toy Fair, I was really excited, because this thing looked great, the sculpting was great, everything looked great, and there wasn't a bendy wire on the tail, everything about this looked great. Unfortunately, you know, the quality control issues on this figure... This figure got hit badly by that, which is honestly a real shame. And after getting the glorious NECA 1962, I'm kind of wondering how they kind of, you know, got away with this. So, yeah. Again, this isn't a bad figure by any means necessary, but it's definitely disappointing. So, yeah. So, everything on this figure would be good, but unfortunately... Not in mine specifically, but this figure kind of got hit badly by quality control issues, so, yeah. Anyway, with all that out of the way, let's take a look at this. Starting off with the paint, and the painting on this figure is good, except for the head, but we'll take a closer look at that. But, anyway, most of the body is a grayish color, and we do get minor hints of brown, which does look very nice. And I actually really like how that looks. We also do get a bit of a glossy finish to it, which, again, looks great. Especially in the tail here. I like that a lot. The toenails are painted like a greenish-grayish color, which looks nice. As well as the fingernails. I don't know if you can see that there, but yeah, they are painted a greenish-grayish color. And the painting on the head is... Well, not awful by any means, but it's not great. First of all, let's address the elephant in the room. These eyes look very bad. I'm actually not a big fan of how these look. I was excited to get this figure in the mail, but the second someone posted about this on Facebook and they showed off the eyes, I was very scared. Because as you can see, um, if my camera can focus, yeah, that does not look great if you pay attention to the eye. I really don't like how that looks. But, yeah, no. Um, there are some other things that plague this head. For one... There is extra plastic going down the center of the head, which looks very bad. That, and I don't know what's going on with the teeth here, but there's just a weird flat bit right here. I don't know if that's extra uh, plastic or a paint defect, but yeah, that looks very bad. And the head on this figure, honestly, it doesn't look great. And speaking of quality control issues, um, right out of the box, the paint on the big toe right here was grinding against the plastic. So, yeah. That's not really a good thing, so, yeah. Also, really quick, there is excess glue right here as well. But, other than that, besides the head and besides the other quality control issues this figure has, the painting here still looks pretty good for what it is. So, the painting on this figure gets a pass. Now, I'll take a look at the articulation, and the articulation on this figure is the same as the 2014 NECA, but... In some parts it's better, but in some parts it's worse, but anyway, we'll take a look at that. The mouth can close and open. The head is on a ball joint. There's a ball joint at the base of the neck, but it does not move on mine. Very tight, so yeah. Anyway, ball joint at the shoulder right here. Bend at the elbow, and there's also a bit of a swivel. Wrist swivel right here. And this is also where the quality control issue kind of pops in, because... On this hand, he can like move it upwards and downwards a little bit, but on this hand, he can't really. And if you try, then this figure does kind of like, the plastic does kind of tear, which is kind of not really a good thing that happens. So, yeah, that's one thing I don't like. There's a ball joint at the waist, but again, very limited. And we do have a ball joint at the thighs here, but unlike with the 2014 Godzilla, you can't really adjust it to where you can move the legs, but you can fix it in a pretty good position. If you move it, then you're kind of stuck with this. At least on mine, anyway. It could be different on other figures, but yeah, that's something I actually really miss from the 2014 NECA. 
there is a bend at the knee right here. Not a lot, but it's there. And the feet are on ball joints. And speaking of ball joints, the tail is great. Um, there are, there's a ball joint here, 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 ball joint here. There's a ball joint here, but it doesn't move a lot. Ball joint here, and ball joint here. So the articulation on this figure is good, but on mine, the quality control kind of, you know, kind of gets, or not really out of hand, but around the wrists, it's kind of not great. But yeah, no, the articulation on this figure is still good, so it gets a pass. Now I'll take a look at the sculpt, and the sculpting on this figure is actually very good, and from what I've heard, this is actually the model straight from uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Slightly modified, but the same model nonetheless, and it looks great, and I honestly have no complaints. So the sculpting on this figure looks great, so it gets a pass. Now I'll take a look at the detailing, and the detailing, again, looks great. Unfortunately, we do have some excess plastic on the back dorsal plate right here and on the head right here, but the detailing throughout is actually very nice. The gills here, very well defined. The scales look great. Everything here looks very well defined, very muscular, and I like that a lot. And the feet look great too. Going to the tail here, we have some more detailing, which looks great. And going to the dorsal plates, they look very nice as well. So, the detailing on this figure, again, is very good, so it gets a pass. So, at the end of the day, should you get this? You know, even though the quality control issues hit this figure kind of bad, I'd say that this is still a pretty alright figure. It's not great, but it's still good. It's still kind of frustrating how, even after the NECA 1962, we got the quality control issues as bad as this, because on mine, they weren't horrible. But I've seen other videos where some guy got it really bad. His neck was cracked, and where you plug in the tail, there were two joints, so you couldn't plug it in. And, yeah, no. This figure, in terms of quality control, got it really bad, but Mothra didn't. I'm reviewing that later down the road, but yeah, Mothra's quality control didn't get hit really bad at all, so, yeah. And I'm still waiting for Rodan to come out as of me recording this, so, yeah. But, at the end of the day, it, this isn't a bad figure by any means. In fact, I like this figure. It's just a little disappointing. But if you were to buy this, you'd pay... I got this from Big Bad Toy Store, and I paid about, like, 28 bucks for it, including shipping. Which, honestly, isn't bad. Maybe a little overpriced. Maybe if it was in, like, the $20 range, like, 20 bucks or at most 25 then I feel like it'd be better, but maybe almost 30 bucks is kind of not really my cup of tea. But either way, this is still a somewhat nice figure. I still like it, and if you want to know how big he is, here he is next to Dr. Billy Grant. Alright, now that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace, Zach out.